Hello. Hello. Testing, testing. Mommy, can you hear us? We are testing a new mic. Wireless mic, yes. yes. But if you want anyone that's a wire, it's because I know, I... it has the, the... Oh, can hear, can hear. Okay, yes, can hear, can hear. Okay, where are we here? Welcome to our... Tea break talk with Tea break talk with the... Yes, welcome to our tea break talk with the toes. Yes, today we're going to talk about... High blood pressure. Our heart, again. But this time we're talking this about. I gonna crack my. I I break my heart. <laughs> <laughs> nah, can you can you keep this for me? Um, my broken heart. Can you put? Okay, 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 hold your capability for you. Why why can't you play? Oops! You dropped my heart. Wow, that's very nice. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. Me, are you done with my heart? No, no you just leave it there. <laughs> you may leave his heart. Yeah, okay. Today, let's start off with our mission again. Blueberry. Who wants to share the mission? Me. Me. I said I was going to share okay, the mission. Okay, maybe you can. Huh? Yeah, our, our mission. Can you see? Okay. Our heart is to educate people with the rap, if, with the latest rap, latest information. The right knowledge. The right knowledge and the... Yes, that is right. We want to educate the world on the right knowledge and the wisdom of good health. So today, what are we going to talk about? Uh, high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Do you want, as usual, do you want to share some facts about high blood pressure? So the first fact is uh, <laughs> First fact High blood pressure can be linked to dementia Second fact Young people can have high blood pressure too That's scary High blood pressure usually does not have any symptoms That's why it's sometimes called the silent killer that's very scary also. Many people who have high blood pressure don't even know they have it. That's also what very scary. What if I have it and I don't know it? Then that's very scary. What do I have high blood pressure? Okay. Almost half of the US adults have high blood pressure. <gasps> Almost half! Oh, wow, that's amazing. Like so many billions of people. Okay, in Singapore, slightly less than one in four person aged thirty to sixty nine years old have hypertension, aka high blood pressure. Mm. One more. In the sixty to sixty nine years age group, more than one in two persons have hypertension, aka high blood pressure. Wow, that is very scary. You mean in Singapore, those who are sixty to sixty nine? Two of them, one of them will have hypertension or high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. Do you think? Don't you think that is a really very scary Wait, what? number? Huh? Okay, me. Let's start. You wanna ask me some question? So, what is high blood pressure? Okay, high blood pressure is actually to say that. The force that is acting on our blood vessels, is our blood vessels, the force that is acting on our blood vessels is consistently high. Okay? And with high blood pressure, okay, people with high blood pressure, they have blood pressure readings above 140 slash 90. Okay? So those people considered as having high blood pressure. Okay? Next, me. How does high blood pressure affect our health? Well, high blood pressure, it... Um, increase our chances of leading to heart diseases, which is like heart attack, stroke. People with high blood pressure, huh? What's high attack? Suddenly you have a cardio arrest. Something. Yes. Okay. Yes. 
and kidney diseases, vision loss, oh, dementia. Yeah. Yes, that's why heart pre heart high blood like pressure said, is so scary. Mm. Like I said, sometimes high blood pressure can be linked to dementia. Mm. Okay. Next, dear, yeah, you want to ask? What causes high blood pressure? I'm going to Yeah, I put on that exam. What causes high blood pressure? Mainly, okay, there are two main causes of high blood pressure. Okay, first thing, that is the uh, elasticity of our blood vessels. Okay, when one loses its elasticity of our vessels wall, okay, okay it's like a rubber band. Okay, when... Our when our blood vessels loses its elasticity, okay. Like it doesn't like it doesn't like. Yeah, it doesn't stretch. So when it doesn't stretch, okay, that's why it causes it will cause high blood pressure, and that's why, um, for older people, they tend to have a higher chance of developing high blood pressure because, uh, old age will lead to, your what what blood vessels losing the elasticity. Why? Hmm? Why? It's like your rubber band. When you use rubber band for too much or you leave your rubber band for too long, you lose lose its elasticity oh, yeah. and you snap like, like easily. You keep, like you keep yes. So both those will have um uh lost the elasticity of their blood vessels uh, of their blood vessels. The chances of getting stroke is very high, because when you have high blood pressure and you lose the elasticity, okay, your blood vessels will Broke. snap. Yeah, it will burst easily, and that causes stroke or heart attack. Now I'll tell you, okay? Stroke is when, uh, when your blood vessels in your brain burst. Then you lose some of the, the your body will lose some of the, uh, functions. You come sometimes they can't move their hand or their legs, one side of their hands or legs. Hmm. So that you lose. Because the blood vessels burst. Yeah. The, the brain functions affect yeah. your brain functions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there's another. The second cause of blood pressure, which is clotting of blood vessels. Yes, come, let's show them. Can you show them longer? Okay, over there you can see there are two pictures. Okay. See for what happened is when your blood vessels starts to clot. A normal blood vessels is perfectly round. There's no clotting. Okay, but when it starts to clot, clot, okay, it starts to narrow because of the, the deposited like partic uh, uh, Yeah, it becomes narrower. So when it becomes narrower, what happens? Your, your flow will increase and that will increase pressure. It's like when we are playing with water hose. Okay. We open it bigger. Yes, you see that hose here? How to increase the flow, how to spray long further, further. Uh, you press it so that it becomes narrow narrower so the water will spray longer further because it has higher pressure okay so the clotting of our blood vessels actually increases our blood pressure and all this is due to depositing or the deposits on along our walls of our blood vessels these are caused by conditions such as high cholesterol okay high triglycerides or like i mentioned last week when you have a high level of TMAOs. Hmm? Last week we talked about TMAO, remember? Okay, it's a substance oh, cause. Like, hmm? like, 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 it's, using it's like, it's like, it's a sticky, uh, wow. the, 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 the term is too long and I, I'll show them. Okay? Maybe I'll show later. Okay? So it, it, uh, it, it's a stickiness of the blood vessels. So when your blood vessels okay. become a lot, have a light, a lot of super, super glue around it. So when you have things sticking onto, it becomes, on your blood vessel, it becomes narrow and narrower. Okay? Like yeah, when you have more things clotting, then your... Yeah, yeah, yeah so your, 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 your blood vessels become narrow and narrow. That causes high blood pressure. Okay? So these are the two main causes of high blood pressure or hypertension. Okay? So May, what's your next one? Your turn. Focus. Is taking medication enough to control high blood pressure? Yes, medication, yes, like it does control, it only controls. In fact, it only controls the symptoms. The symptoms. Does it cure? No. Have you seen people taking high blood pressure, being cured of high blood pressure? 
Mm? Actually, actually, it's actually they pos they just getting rid of your symptoms, so you think that you don't have it anymore. That's right. But Correct. actually, the blood vessels is still very. It's still clotting. Mm -hmm. It doesn't remove the clot at all. Or it doesn't increase the elasticity of the blood vessels. It doesn't. Actually, prevention is actually better than cure. That's right, me. You're very right. And actually, if you guys didn't know, mm. actually, it's easier to prevent high blood pressure than mm. to cure it. Yes. So, what does the medication really do? Okay. It really it just makes it like better, but it's actually not cured. Yes. So, what does medication do? Okay. Okay. Because of the high blood pressure, the pressure is too high. Okay, it's like uh like the like the water hose. Okay, if the water hose water is going too fast, too um too much water, the pressure is too high. What will you do? Turn down the tap, right, to lower the flow. Okay, same as medication. That's what most medication, what some of the medication will do. So if when you turn down the tap, that that means you have less water, which means we have less blood going to our circulating our body. So what is the main purpose of our blood? Transport oxygen food. and food, nutrients, correct? Mm. Through our body. body, yes. Body also yes. So, yes. can you imagine with less oxygen and less nutrients going our body, what will happen to our body? It will affect our organs, our cells, our immune system, and will yes. become weaker. Yes, yeah. correct. And one of the main side effects of medication is it might cause dementia. Because you have less oxygen going to our... Everything. Yes. Actually, I forgot what dementia is. Dementia is when you forget everything. Ah, yeah. Oh yeah, like, 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 like you've lost your memory. Yes, that's right. I mean, okay, and that is why one of the main the cause, is? one of the side effects, main side effects of high blood pressure medication is dementia. Okay? Okay. Mm. Okay, whatever. Mm. So, Min, I think you want to cover this last question? Do calcium su supplements affect heart health? Well, that is a very good question. Calcium is a mineral. Okay. Do you, have you seen uh, before in the caves where you have uh, water dripping, then you have, um, they form those very long cones in the caves? Yeah. Okay. Those are caused by minerals in water. See, when you have a lot of, yes, when you have lot of when you have lot of minerals in the water and when you start dripping from the from the roof, okay, it forms cone. It forms deposits. Same as in our heart and in our blood vessels. Okay, when we take calcium supplements, okay, calciums are minerals. Okay? So we have calcium, we take calcium, calcium goes into our blood. It's like it's like the, it's like the mineral in the water. So what will happen? When our blood is flowing through our blood vessels, the wall, what will happen? Then there will be deposits, right? Yeah. yeah. So that will cause deposits along our blood vessels wall. And that will cause the narrowing of our blood vessels, so, so, which causes high blood so pressure. It's like, it's like, like fighting so there, like they can become like smaller. Yes. Sorry? So the calcium things, they like loosen our blood, like no. the wall. No, it causes deposits, you see? Oh. Ah, so it becomes narrower. Oh. Okay. I'm showing, I'm showing her this. Yes. Okay. The calcium in our blood will cause deposits along our blood vessels. Why wall. is it calcium? I thought calcium was like good. Because people thought that calcium is good for our bones. Oh. Calcium supplements. Okay. That's what happens when we take supplements. They are actually concentrated uh, forms of mineral that goes into our directly into our blood. Okay. Okay. Who's going to do the... Oh, we're going to do the co conclusions. So, we talk about um, side effects of medication. In actual fact, I think the most um, dangerous side effect of medication is that it changes people's mindset. What people would think that, ah, after taking medication, oh, um, after taking medication, the blood vessels and the blood pressure actually went down back to normal. People will have the mentality or mindset saying, oh, okay, that called, let's solve my blood pressure problem. And they will have, they will thought that, oh, uh, I'm alright now, I'm back to normal. I can continue my old lifestyle, my old way of eating, my old unhealthy diets and lifestyle. And then they actually still have it. 
Yeah, they still have it, and then and they're making it worse. They're making it worse. They thought that oh, I'm okay because of the medication. Actually, only the medication the only. Medication is just making it look that it's like better, yeah, but, but then it's actually not cured yet. Yes. That's why, that's why we when... say um. That's why we say, like. Yeah, what? <laughs> Prevention is better than cure. That's why you must prevent it. Don't let heart pressure or high cholesterol affect us. Because by then, it's very difficult to, to cure. That's why it's always better to start early. Start prevention. Don't wait for, until it starts affecting us. Take medication. Not like, oh, now I eat. Later, I got exercise and don't have really. Yeah, so when, so it doesn't mean that we don't do about it when we, when, we, when, we high, when we have these conditions. We must change our lifestyle. Yeah. Change our diet. Diet. Well. diet. Yes. Our emotions too. Yes. Happy. So, like, so medications, it can only reduce the symptoms. So what we must do is to change our lifestyle change our diet like, uh, like what we covered last week okay have sufficient enough of sleep rest, yes. rest. active living exercise yes. like that Exciting. emotions be happy stay lively yes that's right so today we have the best doctor in our world which is our immune system so we must nourish our immune system with the direct um very good thing <laughs> We must adopt a diet full of vegetables and fruits, correct? And let me just share something. The products that help um high colours, no high blood pressure or hypertension. Mm. The very B and fiber top. Yeah. Blueberries too. That's why we must take food that is good for our heart. So what is good for our heart is blueberries. <laughs> berries, cranberries. And fiber top, we have fiber top because fiber top is full of fiber. Why do we need fiber? Because when we take fiber, it actually creates a lining in our in our intestines. So that we don't take in so much cholesterol. It actually reduces the cholesterol intake. Okay, so fiber is very important. We need how much how much fiber do we need a day? How many grams? That's right, 30 grams. Mm. Which is equivalent to how many apples? Um 10. <laughs> Apples. Actually, they actually say that uh, apple a day keeps the doctor away, but then 10 apples a day keep yes. the doctor Correct. And I just wanted to say that, you see this soy bro behind us, it has a lot of protein. Mm. I think it says fiber, and it's 36 grams for eat. 36 grams each packet. I don't know how much protein that is. It's about 12.4 grams of protein. Yeah, so you probably just need it for dinner and breakfast. And yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Lunch. And berry bit, berry bit has a lot of berries. Berries are generally good for our vessels. This is also a berry. And remember we talked about elasticity of blood vessels? Remember we talked about rosy time? Last time we talked about beauty, elasticity of our skin, elasticity of our blood vessels. Our skin is the biggest organ. Yes. So what causes us to lose elasticity of blood vessels? Mainly it's because of aging. Aging. So we, aging. Yes. So that's why we need it's to like, take a lot of antioxidants. Food that contains high antioxidants. It's like, it's like you use it like... To it, slow down... Aging and also to in to help our body produce and collagen to increase the collagen. yeah collagen that's to increase the elasticity of our blood vessels. And that's why um it's very very um basically um elderly are very have a very high risk if they have high blood pressure because um they didn't notice it when they were like total thirty or sixty nine years old like that. Mm. So I think it's probably then the it's already probably very clotted and. It's high pressure, yeah. then it's not elastic. Mm -hmm. What will happen? You burst. burst. When it bursts, it will cause either stroke or, or dementia. heart attack. And dementia. Yeah, dementia is because. Yeah, it's, look, it's a ball and then it bursts. Okay, I think we covered enough for today. We covered two episodes of hearts. I hope all you guys will look after your heart because don't break my heart. Okay, and don't break your heart. Our heart is very important. Your heart is still broken. Oh, you fix my heart. Yeah, I will break your heart now. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Jay, you want to play again your ukulele? Yeah. And then we say goodbye to them, to all our audience. This is one. Wow, okay, you have to play together. Ready?
Okay, see you. Bye. See you next week.